Oh, the projects never end. You know, when you own your own business, your own property, what do you think you do? You think you actually sit around doing nothing all day? And you have all these cars and trucks and motorcycles? I mean, it's just nonstop. But I love that. But I got to get to this aerator over here and I got to move the uh, cars all around. My challenge all the time is I have too many damn cars, trucks, motorcycles. And I got to get this air right here out of here that I haven't used in ages. Probably have to lubricate all the, uh, the uh, what do you call those things, the pluggers. So look at this here, my area is just, I need to just, my next project here is I'm going to clean this all up. That's my next project. Got to start getting motivated, make the property look better. So watch me as we get the John Deere tractor out, do some aerating, and give you some uh, personal views on how that 3046 does doing the aerating. This thing hasn't been driven in ages. Wow. But this thing hasn't been driven in three months. That's something. Hey, there's a new mat. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about these. The, the WITA mats. Let's see how they're doing here. Let's see if it's actually comfortable. Why wow, the car is so warm. Wow, the kid has a seat way up. And uh, pretty cool. What do you think of the mats? Give it a little bit of more of a flare. Did I do okay? I think I did. So let's get her started up. But it's so hot in here. I mean, it's a cool day, but it's hot in here. So let's get the push off, you know, between the electric brake, me on your brake. You know, we're going to park this. I'll clear up the whole damn yard. So can I get this thing over far enough? We'll see. All right, let's go get the, the rod, the rod experience right now. Right? I think I'm going to raise up these. Uh, I don't know why they did what they did. That's kind of interesting. Huh. I'm going to adjust these to be better. Okay. And the adventure begins. You know, these tractors, I mean, in some ways, they get too damn hot. It's like, wow. So let's get this thing started. 7.4 hours. And uh, get her warm up. Oops, somebody's calling me. That was pretty cool. I actually talked through my uh, radio set with my phone. That's pretty neat. So I got my music going and we're gonna go. So that's a really nice updated uh, radio. My other tractor made no sense to me how with all this technology just five, six, seven years ago, they didn't put in um, Bluetooth radios. But that's all changed now. Let's get going here. Got the tractor kind of warmed up. One of my subscribers said, you know, put that thing on the ground, use it as your step. I like that idea, great idea. It's warm in here, too warm. I don't have to this back window, but let me get this tractor across the way here as I tear up my yard over there so I can even get over there as I hit something, right? I don't know. I'm going to take my hands. that back window is a lifesaver. It's just too hot in here. Wow. So I'm going to back this thing up back here to try to line it up and get her all hooked up. The first official uh, implement on this tractor. I'm going to do some wash and do and make sure to tear something up here. All right, so first thing I do, I'm going to get our rear arms um, set correctly here. There's pins down here where you can uh, change how wide. Or, you know, that's pretty cool. My other tractor, I can literally go up and down with a rear valve thing here. This doesn't have that. It's not too bad. I'm surprised. It doesn't. But I'll just have to open the door up here. I'll open the door here and just kind of go with this right here. To make it all work. See what that one does. I'm not sure. Yeah, there it goes. See that? There you are. Oh, I just closed my door. So this here, to make sure I'm kind of, I think I gotta go out a little bit more here. You gotta take this pin out right here. It's nothing really that big a deal. Oh, uh, it's just never simple. I've done this so many years, trying to line equipment up, attachments. It's a project. Now, this is so tight, I gotta pound it in. Oh, you gotta get creative. So you gotta take this, and you gotta start spinning this thing. See here, look at this here. You get all this to line up. How far does this thing go without falling apart, right? And so, it's over there. So now I'm gonna back the tractor up a little bit more the other side. See if I see that line it up. Oh boy. Adventures, right?
All right, I think I got it. I think I did it. So I get my rusty old parts here. Then I can get the rear arm to line up with that. That's another project. All right, cool. That went flawless. Now I get this arm out of here and get it to reach over here. See there? I gotta lengthen it out. So that holds it as I do this here. You always want to make sure you tighten this little nut down. When you're done, always thing it walks off. We are making some headway. So you, you take this and you turn this because then it keeps it more proportional. Just so you know, because both sides of this rod. I was kind of doing it wrong the first time. If you start spinning this out by itself, this will be way too far out and probably break. So you kind of get it in there. It's just kind of nice. So you get this nut, put yourself a pipe wrench, big wrench, and tighten this down so this thing doesn't walk around. Because it will. It will walk on you. And I'm going to see you while you're riding around. This is, uns this is you know, turning around, around, around. Over time, this whole thing just falls off. And you probably break it. And another thing is, this right now, the middle notch... You can go lower or higher, depending on how you want this thing to ride out. But, okay, this is pretty cool. So now, I tighten that up. I can shop. But here, once I lift her up, I can take the legs out. I bet you it's been two or three years, about five years since I've used this. It's kind of a love-hate relationship. Because when I aerate my yard, I fertilize it. It's just that much more work to sit on top of cutting the grass. So, here we go. All right, I'm going to take off a whole of this old crap because this stuff will just start probably falling apart as I go through my yard and this stuff will just be everywhere so I'm going to get rid of all this stuff for the weight now I know what I did this is the old stucco from my house when I redid the house years ago and what happens is it just starts busting apart and so it breaks apart and ends up falling on the ground it's a major problem so let's try a different way. Wow, this tractor is so nice. It's so powerful. But here's the key. If these things don't turn, you got to make sure these things turn. If you look in here. So, ooh, it's just in here a little tight. So it needs to be lubed. So that could be a problem. That one moves, moves. That one's in here a little tight, so... But I got something going on down here too. There's there's something jammed up in here. You see that? What the hell is it? All right, it's grease time. I'm gonna grease all of these just to be safe because they haven't been greased in so long. This and this unit, this unit is I bought it in 2007 or eight. So think about that. Wow, already busting up my knuckles doesn't end okay i just got them all greased up but this one here i don't know what's going on i'd be amazed if it doesn't lock up so now we do but everything worked out really well so some of these just freewheel so much easier than the other ones it just kind of but these two are in the end are a little more stiff these over here not bad that one there's really nice but now for the feet you raise it up pretty cool just take out your pin right here and this drops down but you can take it all the way out or you can just take it out if you want but i would just put it up in the high area there she is now usually i put weights on here but this thing's so heavy i'm gonna kind of see how the grass feels grass isn't real hard not real soft really kind of the perfect day to do this just cleaned up my hands anybody has a nice new tractor Clean your hands up, otherwise you start trashing the cereal. So now I'm going to get out there and start doing my thing. And wow, if this thing does the yard right, that'd be great. And all, and really the ideal thing is you get yourself a water tank. You get yourself two water tanks and put them on here and put, let's just say, about 200, like 400 pounds back here. 25 gallon tank would be 20, that's 160 pounds. Is that right? That can't be right. That doesn't sound right. Eight, yeah, eight pounds per gallon times 10, so 80 pounds. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you could have close to 400 pounds back there if you did that. But I'm gonna see how it goes first before I start getting creative and trying to put weights back there. You could always get creative and clean that thing all up and paint it green. How about that idea, right? Usually implements for tractors are not the uh, company brand. It's off-brand usually. 
That was the way. Here's a go. I'm gonna take my jacket off. So I know I'm gonna get too hot in that cab. I'm gonna start in the high ground. I usually start my grass cutting like right up here, but this is your little harder grass. Let's go ahead and put this thing down. See how this starts to go. See if she does anything. Or it falls all apart on me, right? <laughs> Usually have weights on that thing. But I think that thing's pretty heavy. I think it'll do all right. This grass is so, uh, you know, the ground's pretty, pretty moist. Good old bucket up. Now, when you do a turn, you should lift this so you don't bend your uh, aerator tubes. And then put it back down. Maybe out there. That you want to learn how to do this. And you just kind of go back and forth. That's not to be like your perfect match if you're cutting grass. But I can definitely feel those things pulling. No, pull over here. All right, let's see if I'm doing anything. It looks like I am, but at the same time, this grass is kind of heavy. So you can see I'm definitely getting it. Does it need more weight? Probably. Which ought to be a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. To load that thing in the back. What am I going to put back there? I've got plates and all, but it's just gets so beat up. But so you can see here, but is it going down far enough? See, there's the, there's the kicker. Is it going down enough to plug it to make the plugs? But this is a little harder area, so very debatable. Well. I've been forced to put weight, and oh my gosh, this will probably just bust up everywhere. But the other ones be alright, but that's 320 pounds, probably about 350 is water all set up, but oh my gosh. That, that my back, will be talking to me tomorrow on that one. Good lord, what you do to do to make things look pretty, right? Woo. <laughs> Got my nice warm tractor, it's cool, it's cold. Oh, huge difference now. It's now creating the plugs, so you got to put the weight on this thing. So I'm glad I did that because uh, now I can actually see how the yard's been aerated. And some people will be like, "Why do you want to even aerate the yard? Let's get the oxygen in the soil. It makes it more uh, has more nutrients. I guess it just makes it a healthier yard." So, uh, anyways, it's doing a lot better job. Not well, you can see that back there, but there you go. That's a lot better job. I get the keeper dog participating, which that's not the greatest idea, but I get all the dogs participating. What's going on now? Anyways, there you go. See this here? The tractor's really got a lot of good power, so uh, it's not a big deal for it. It's still, but it needs to really help out a lot on the beginning of the spring yard projects. Now it's pretty nice. This unit's a little more compact, so it is kind of easier to navigate a little bit better. That's nice. Once again, it's got plenty of power. So I can definitely feel that thing, you know, pulling this thing. John Deere, my radio is nice, nice heat, air conditioning, so it really is a nice setup. The cab is all sealed, so nice, very nice. What's really nice about this tractor is this air ride and seat. Huge difference, huge difference. I'm so glad I didn't buy the open station tractor. I mean, watch my channel, you'll see I was going to buy an open station 3046. And last minute, I really came to closure. I'd be much happier in a uh, cab tractor because I had a cab tractor. I really had a hard time like go oh, that 40, 44R is such a nice tractor, but it didn't have an air ride seat. And it was a bigger platform, so it's harder to do these type of jobs because of the size of that tractor. But now, having a 3046R, Maybe out there looking for a really nice tractor and has the budget because these things ain't cheap. Um, this is a really nice package and I'm not getting beat the heck out of it like I usually do. So here's the uh, rear implement. It's 
three-point hitch. They call it the three-point hitch back there that raises this thing has plenty of power to take it up and down. But you know, one thing, it's such a nice new tractor. I don't want to scratch it all up. So I'm avoiding going underneath these trees because all these things are going to scratch the hell out of my tractor. So forget that. Nice. So you can actually see how this thing really is making the aerator work. That weight really did help. So I'm glad I put the weight on to make a huge difference. And this will take quite a while. <laughs> yeah, this will be a few hours of ride to be my guess for the whole property. But very comfortable to be out there um, debating. If you get the air ride seat, huge difference and being bounced around the track. I mean, it's huge. It's so much more comfortable. I've got her about 2,200 RPMs. She's doing really great. How does the fuel do? We'll find out. Man, I think I lost my red buds. Look at that. I'm a bummer, man. That's too bad. So how many golf balls golf balls tennis balls, light golf balls, end up getting plucked into my aerator. There's the old keeper. Harassing other dogs. He just loves to play and harass others. Yeah, this is a lot of time here. If anybody's ever driven a tractor, you know, but see all the tennis balls? I'll be amazed if there's one stuck in my uh, aerator before the day's out. I have a bunch of them. I told the kid you need to start driving around and uh, pick up these tennis balls. You know, so we had such a dry summer last year. A lot of my trees died. What a shame. Uh, it's just never ending. You know, I bought those trees. I planted those trees. Projects. I used my John Deere 2025R with that back hood to do all that work. I sold that, so yikes. Got back to digging ditches, digging planters, one hole at a time. If you've done that, that's a project. As we get up the road here, get up the yard here in the John Deere 3046, 3046R. One thing for sure, I'm enjoying the cab experience because I've done it too many years. Uh, ride around lawnmowers in a cooler time of the year and you freeze your butt off. You just, you're just cold. So this is so nice to have this cab be more insulated to my own gentleman's world. Beautiful day though. We're doing some sewing now. We're down in a lot softer area now this year. You can really see how this thing's aerating. That's pretty good. It's a lot of back and forth, that's for dang sure. So over the years of living here, I've lost so many trees. It's incredible how many trees have died since I've been here. It's just incredible. My other tractor, I used it to get rid of a lot of the dead trees because it's such a hazard of falling down. I mean, sadly, people get killed on their own property and trees falling down on them. The other tractor, I mean, I really did use that to just clean that up, but that's a project. So we still need to be a project. Well, concrete ideas work, but now it's starting to fall apart here. Other one's okay. I'm just gonna get some weights. I'm gonna throw the concrete into the water. Isn't that nice? If you go to the dump, you gotta throw this stuff separate. You have to pay for it. Cheaper like this, won't it? Probably. So I get wet. All right, I'm gonna get creative. I'm gonna get some weights and throw that in the back back there and see what that does for us. And I use those. I'd run my PTO generator with my other tractor. You had to have like a person had pressure in the seat for it to run because it's a safety switch thing. How about that creative idea, huh? What do you think? I mean, these other ones that hardened up, that's great. They're working perfect. So I think we got some going here. Brr!
Oh boy, Wowsker. What a great tractor. Just got done aerating all the property except the field, which I'll get that tomorrow. But it's done a great job. Look here. You see all these little plugs right here? Look at this here. See this here? So it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's aerating the yard. The whole yard has been aerated except across the way. And boy, it's cold out here. But anyway, this thing did such a great job. We got creative with the weights. If you look back here, you see the weights and all. And uh, so just pretty cool. It all worked out. Thank goodness. So anybody out there looking for a nice tractor, the John Deere 3046R really is a, a nice tractor. And I'm just really happy about it. And I think what's going to happen this tractor, I'm going to put a lot of my, I'm going to put a lot of hours on this tractor here. Uh, just because I can so much more versatile for doing the cutting the grass, doing, uh, actually, you know, using it for the bucket and all. So anyways, hey everybody, once again, thanks for watching my channel. Because maybe see out there's looking for a tractor. And I can honestly tell you that that's a good tractor. And it's a little lighter, smaller platform in the 4 Series. Unless you need to do some really heavy duty work, you don't need the 4000 series. It's a lot of tractor. I mean, it does a lot of work, but I don't know if you really need all that. It just depends your environment. This one's perfect for me. So as always, thanks so much for watching my channel. God bless. Stay safe and stay tuned for the morning conversations. And what will that be? We'll find out tomorrow morning.